this is Noelle and we're at Petite Garden, Garden Centers on a beautiful sunny day and um, I wanted to share with you some deer resistant shrubs. I hadn't realized we hadn't done a YouTube special on it so I thought I'd talk about those and um, when we talk about deer resistance we want you to be aware that no plant is impervious to deer browsing however many have very little to no browsing on them so um, and I'll show you those right now. So all of these shrubs are going to be, um, again, woody ornamentals. You'll use them out in the landscape. Uh, most of them that I'm showing here right now are gonna be for a full sun to maybe a part shade condition. Most of them can tolerate that. Um, but the first thing that you always wanna go for are the evergreens. And really when you're looking at evergreen that's deer resistant, you want it to have some kind of sharp needled texture to it. So if you're patting it and it does have pokey needles, that's a good indication that it's gonna be very good deer resistance. So we have things from this gold mop cypress. Again, it feels a little bit it's soft but when you get into it it does have some poke to it um, we also have the boxwood boxwood it's not so much the um, pokey foliage it's more of the smell of boxwood that repels the deer um, we also have blue star juniper or really any of the juniper family it could be an upright conical juniper it could be a low ground cover juniper all of them work very very well again they have those pokey needles to them I have a blue spruce, this is Conica. It is a blue globe spruce. This is very popular in the landscapes. And again, your spruce family is fantastic for deer resistance. And then right next to it is a little short dwarf Mugo pine. So again, the pine family, when you're looking at the needles, you do wanna go ahead and touch those needles. If they're more of a stiff needle, a harder needle, that's good. Um, that'll be the better deer resistant variety for you, okay? After that, we've got Got some other plants that are great bloomers out there just like the butterfly bush they're really coming into flower right now they're very fragrant they're fuzzy um, on their foliage so that's a really good deer resistant plant and they come in small sizes this is lo and behold microchip pink there's also a larger size back there um, that's Miss Molly and she's a beautiful sort of dark um, violet color the other plants that I have here are Wygelia. Wygelia does very well. They're short and tall sizes. Uh, they bloom throughout the growing season for us and attract hummingbirds, but their foliage does a great job out in uh, the landscape. And talk about maroon swoon is the one blooming here. Um, and then down below, I actually have one that's called My Monet Sunset. It's got sort of an orange, yellow, green variegated look. It's absolutely gorgeous other plants that'll give you color out there in the landscape that'll be deer resistant. The red down below is going to be your barberry. Barberry is very thorny, so hence the resistance is definitely built into that plant. Again, small, medium, and large types of barberry. That one down there that's sort of red, it, and I call it a cavalier's color, is actually sunjoy. Um, and that sunjoy and just above it is going to be gold pillar, okay? Um, so both of those will do very well. Totally different shapes and habits in the landscape, but really great as as far as deer resistance. The two that I've kind of left behind here, I have a white flowering um, potentilla here. Great kind of low shrub, takes a lot of abuse, a lot of sun out in the landscape, and it'll just kind of continually bloom throughout the growing season. So that's nice if you want a little bit of flowering color and low mounded habit. And then the one above it is actually a golden privet. And the golden privet is just a great hedge plant. It's very easy to grow and it has a smell to it. So again, it, it repels deer more by the smell rather than the leaf texture. So all of these plants really good options. Taylor's going to show you some close-up photos of them um, as we go here and uh, they're great selections for your yard um, out in those sunny spots. Enjoy!